Good evening. I do need these glasses. Thank you, Bruce, and thank you, Emily, for organizing this forum. Uh, to be part of it, and thank you, candidates, for running it. Shows a great interest in our town, and it's uh, exciting. I'm a process-oriented person, so I think things come, but it's how you handle the process, whether they come to fruition or not. So uh, I'm fairly dry. <laughs> The Municipal Government Act states that Council's purpose is to provide good government, provide services, facilities, and other things that are necessary or desirable for all or a part of the municipality, and to develop and maintain safe and viable communities. That's our job. To accomplish this task, I believe in representation of all citizens, Council must always be clear on what is the issue, not be confused with who is involved. I believe it takes thorough research to make good decisions. I believe in adherence to all legislation and policies that guide our municipal operations. I feel a periodic organizational review is healthy. It's to ensure compliance with all provincial legislation and our, our policies that guide our operations. I believe the council must con be constantly vigilant that the municipal services are clearly delineated and do not get confused with provincial responsibilities that may be downloaded. Organizations that become dependent on provincial grants to operate often look to the municipality to pick up the responsibility of funding should that program be canceled. An example would be the STEP program, the Student Temporary Employment Program, Cancelled. What do we do? A lot of or a lot of organizations dependent on that. I believe that health, social programs, culture, housing, uh, housing programs, education, and seniors' housing are all very important programs, but they should be supported by provincial and federal tax dollars. Municipal government should participate in the dialogue and be community partners but we have to clearly set our own budget priorities based on a well laid out plan. <clears throat> Priority setting is a must. Priorities create the building blocks of a successful plan. This takes me to my last point. We need to establish a strategic plan for the steady growth of a prosperous, successful community. I will continue to promote the value of a written strategic plan developed with community input. I fully support a leadership style that promotes a team approach towards developing our town. And as you know, there is no me or I in the word team. Thank you for coming and allowing me this opportunity to speak to you. And please consider voting for me on the 21st of October.